Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lance. You're watching Fraser Focus Local Places and a big shout out to these local faces. These three ladies all turned 100 this year. It is our honor and privilege to honor them today. And all their families are here to show support. If you are a family member, can you put your hand up? That is so wonderful. Pretty crazy when your mom turns 100, right? It's hard to believe that she has, she is experiencing a 100 year birthday. It's hard to think, you know, of what she, life was like for her when she was a little girl on the farm and what life is like now and the things that have changed and technology and it's amazing the changes for sure. We were very blessed in our family and to celebrate this 100 uh, with mom has been a real blessing. Well, what was the biggest change from when you were a kid to now? Oh boy. Well, things are so, so, so fast now. Everything's fast. People don't have time for people. All they have time for is electronic things. Well, like this thing right here? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And instead of, instead of talking on the telephone, they... Type, type on your phone, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We have certificates from Mayor Henry Braun to honor you for turning 100, but for the legacy that you've given to Abbotsford and the surrounding areas with your lives and everything that you've done. Actually, to have three people turn 100 in an assisted living facility is incredible. I just want to tell everyone, you know what? Have a purpose in life. Make a difference. Whatever you do, don't let age limit you. And then she went on to uh, Sydney, and she opened a hair salon there. Uh, when she came to the Lower Mainland, she took the real estate course and was a realtor till she was, I believe, 79 years old. Your mom turned 100. Yes, she did. That's pretty big. Very, very fortunate to make it that far. Didn't take a real estate license, though, till she was 65. <laughs> that was the start of it. So tell me, what's the secret? Mainly, be happy. That's, that's it? Be happy? Yes. Eat well, exercise, all those things are good. Well, we didn't doubt that she would make it. She was determined, and uh, she's told me the other day she's not ready to go because she doesn't want to leave her family yet. What's the biggest change from when you were younger to now? Electric power. <laughs> Electric power, we didn't have that. I wouldn't have this camera in that case. It does everything for us. Computers, lights, power. Was a secretary in a manufacturing company. Who would that be? Gwen. Good job. They all said you got to stay happy, take one day at a time, and that's the secret. That's, that's for sure for all of us, one day at a time. Only one man knows where we're going, right? This lady used to have to walk four and a half miles to school every day. Helen. Helen, that's right. What are some of the biggest changes from when you were younger? Oh, then I told my children what to do. Now they tell me what to do. <laughs> that is a big change, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but then she gave up her, her license. That was tough for her. That's another part of getting older. I think uh, that's something that I've uh, seen with mom. Uh, she's uh, not only determined, but also, uh, she's been very gracious in the way she's uh, uh, aged. I thank the Lord for being so good to me. Stats say life expectancy is increasing and more and more people are living to 85 and up. I'm Leah Bolton, you're watching a Fraser Focus. Stay with us.